Hello everyone. Am I audible? <coughs> Am I audible? So, very good morning, all of you. On behalf of Intellectics, I do welcome you. I know it's already too late, but we shall be solving one paper. Many of you might be already on the way to the exam hall. I wish you all the best. So please ensure that you just plug in, listen to me, not a big deal, yesterday we had done many of the chapters, the reading of many of the chapters. Last FF, very good morning. So, friends, we are starting up with the paper solving session. So, without wasting time, let's go ahead. So the first question is, what, question number one, what is the moment of force required to turn the nut by a wrench of length 15 centimeter if the minimum force required is 6 newtons? You have to remember that mf is equal to f into d, that is 6 into 15 by 100. That is 0.9 Newton meters. And the options given here are. And the options given are A. 1 Newton meter. B. 90 Newton meter. C. 0.8 Newton meter. D. 0.9 Newton meter. And here the answer comes to 0.9 Newton meter. Question number one, sub question two. A uniform linear motion is unaccelerated, while a uniform circular motion is an accelerated motion. A. Is this a false statement? B. Is this a true statement? Answer me to this question. So this is a true statement. A uniform linear motion is unaccelerated while a uniform circular motion is an accelerated motion. Next question. A block and tackle system has five pulleys. If an effort of 2000 newtons is needed in the downward direction to raise a load of 4500 newtons, then what is the mechanical advantage of the system? Mechanical advantage is equal to load upon the effort. 
that is equal to 4500 upon 2000 that is equal to 2.25 and the options are a 2.25 b 5 c 2.5 d 3.5 And the correct answer to this question will be 2.25. Now, coming to the next, the efficiency of the system will be how much? You know how the efficiency is calculated. I've already given you this uh, formula so that you understand. Is it A, 40%? Is it B, 45%? Is it C, 70%? Is it D, 50%? So, how would you calculate the efficiency? And remember the formula to calculate the efficiency. It's mechanical advantage upon the VR in 200. It is going to be 2.25 upon 5 in 200. That is 45%. Question number 4. Among these, which one is an example of static equilibrium? A. A ball rolling, B, a flying aeroplane, C, a stone at rest, D, a falling raindrop. So which one is an example of static equilibrium? The correct answer to this question is a stone at rest can be considered to be as an example of static equilibrium. Question number five, what is the effect on the critical angle when the temperature of the medium increases? A, critical angle increases. B, critical angle decreases. C, critical angle remains the same. D, critical angle does not depend on temperature. And the correct answer. For this question is A. So the effect on the critical angle when the temperature of the medium increases is the critical angle increases on the increase in the temperature of the medium. Question number 6. The wavelength of the sound produced on the surface of water is 40 cm. If the wave velocity is 48 m per second, the number of waves produced in one second will be equal to dash. A. 60 B. 120 C. 140 D. 130 Remember, frequency is equal to velocity upon wavelength. So that will be 48 upon 0.4 and that is the reason why the answer here has to be 120 hertz. The time in which one wave is produced is T is equal to 1 by F is equal to 1 by 1. That is 8.3 to 10 raised to minus 3 seconds. That's the answer. I've given it directly just to save in the time. What is the refractive index of the medium for the critical angle of 30 degrees? A. 1.5 B. 2 C 1.33 D 0.5 and the correct answer for this question will be obviously 2 because the refractive index is equal to 1 upon sine C that is 1 upon sine 30 that is 1 upon half that is equal to 2. The source of infrared radiation is dash A electric bulb B. Red hot iron ball. C. Sodium vapor lamp. D. Carbon arc lamp. What is the source of infrared radiation? So the source of infrared radiation is red hot iron ball. Coming to the next, violet, yellow, green and red are the four colors formed on the white screen when a polychromatic light is dispersed. 
the arrangement of colors in the decreasing order of the wavelength is dash. A. Green, yellow, red and violet. B. Red, yellow, green and violet. C. Red, green, yellow and violet. D. Yellow, green, yellow, red, green and violet. <coughs> Decreasing order of the wavelength has been asked, friends. So keep that in mind. So the answer should be red, yellow, green and violet. A ray of light suffers refraction through an equilateral prism. The deviation produced by the prism does not depend on the dash. A. Angle of the prism. B. Size of the prism. C. Material of the prism. D. Wavelength of the light. So, a ray of light suffers refraction. So, the deviation produced by the prism does not depend on dash. So, the deviation produced by the prism does not depend on the size of the prism. The actual mechanical advantage of a single movable pulley in working condition is dash a 1 b 2 c more than 1 but less than 2 d more than 2 so what is the actual mechanical advantage of a single movable pulley in working condition and the answer to this question is more than 1 but less than A ball of mass 0.20 kg is thrown with the initial velocity of 20 cm. What is the maximum potential energy it gains as it goes up? A. 40 joules B. 42 joules C. 47 joules D. 50 joules And just to make it easier, I have already given the tip that this potential energy is equal to kinetic energy at the starting point so it comes to half into m into v square that is half into point 2 into 20 into 20 that is 40 joules. The maximum kinetic energy at its highest point is at highest point potential energy is maximum and kinetic energy is zero. So what will be the maximum kinetic energy at its highest point? Is it 40 joules? 47 joules, 0 joules, 50 joules. And the correct answer is 0 joules. The waves used for echo depth sounding are dash A. Ultraviolet waves B. Ultrasonic waves C. Infrasonic waves. D. Infrared radiation. So the waves used for echo depth sounding are dash. The correct answer for this question is ultrasonic waves are used for echo depth sounding. Now the value of W when the rod is in equilibrium is dash. You can look at the image closely and your options are 2.4 newtons, B 48 newtons, C 4.8 newtons, D 2.4 newtons. I have already given you the hint F1 into D1 is equal to F2 into D2. So 24 into 0.8 is equal to W into 4. So the answer should be 4.8 newtons. Going ahead, the subjective property of light related to its wavelength is dash. A. Frequency. B. Speed. C. Medium. D. Color. So the subjective property of the light related to its wavelength is dash. And the answer for this question is color. Now, coming to the next, from the diagram related to the convex lens, the position of the image formed will be dash. 
a beyond 2f b beyond f and 2f c at 2f d at infinity so look at the image and answer this question the correct answer will be b okay so with related to the convex lens the position of the image formed will be between f and 2f again look at the image and find out the size and the nature of the image a real inverted and same size b virtual erect and diminished c real inverted and magnified d real inverted and diminished the correct answer for this question will be d so the size and the nature of the image it will be real inverted and diminished image a spherical drop of water in air will act as dash a a concave lens b a convex lens c plano convex sorry plane concave lens d plane glass plate so a spherical drop of water in the air will act as dash and the answer to this question is a convex lens a spherical drop of water in air will act as a convex lens an object in a denser medium when viewed from a rarer medium appears to be raised the shift is maximum for dash a red light b violet light c yellow light d green light the answer to this question is violet light so an object in a denser medium when viewed from a rarer medium appears to be raised this shift is maximum for the violet light it is possible to observe total internal reflection when a ray travels from dash a air into glass b glass into water c air into water d water into glass and the correct answer for this question will be glass into water so it is possible to observe total internal reflection when a ray travels from glass into water hi srishti singh good morning hi kavya good morning i wish you all the best my dear friends do well stay connected now question number 4 how much time will be required to perform 520 joules of work at the rate of 20 watts a 24 seconds b 26 seconds c 16 seconds d 20 seconds so what would be the answer for this question and the correct answer is 26 seconds because you will be calculating it with the formula p is equal to w upon t therefore p is equal to w upon t wherein w is 520 and time given is i mean we are finding out time right the power is 20 so the answer comes to 26 seconds very good kavya perfect answer now question number 5 a pulley system with velocity ratio 4 is used to lift a load of 150 kg f <coughs> through a vertical height of 20 meters the effort required is 50 kg f in the downward direction the distance moved by the effort is dash a 40 meters b 80 meters c 160 meters d 200 meters And the correct answer is 80 meters. Okay, so velocity ratio is equal to 
DE upon DL. That is, so DE, that is the effort required will be the velocity ratio into DL. So that comes to 4 into 20, that is 80 meters. Coming to the next, the mechanical advantage of the pulley system given in the above question is dash. A, is it 4? B, is it 3? C, is it 2? D, is it 1? And the correct answer has to be calculated by the formula. Mechanical advantage is equal to L upon E, that is equal to 150 by 50. So the answer here is 3. A man standing 98 meters away from a wall fires a gun. What would be? What would be the time taken for the echo to be heard? The speed of the sound in the air is 350 meters per second. And your options are A, 0.35 seconds, B, 0.58 seconds, C, 0.56 seconds, D, 0.44 seconds. We have to calculate it with the formula. V is equal to 2 into D by T. So, T is equal to 2D by V. So, 2 into 98 upon 350, that comes to 0.56 seconds. Question number 7. Which of the given statements is correct? A. The speed of sound does not change with increase in temperature. B. The speed of sound increases with increase in the temperature. C. The speed of sound decreases with increase in temperature. D. The speed of sound is independent of the temperature of the surroundings. So, the correct answer, the correct statement among this is B. The speed of sound increases with increase in temperature. Now look at this. And from the given diagram, the rays which produce fluorescence on striking a zinc sulfide screen are dash. A. Ultraviolet, B. Infrared, C. Gamma, D. Radio. So, what would be looking at the diagram? Can you answer this? Answer is A. It's ultraviolet. Okay, it's ultraviolet. Coming to the next. The rays having the wavelength range of 400 nanometers to 800 nanometers are dash. A. Infrared. B. Gamma rays. C. Radio waves. D. Visible radiation. So the wavelength range of 400 nanometers to 800 nanometers are which rays? And the answer for this question is D. Visible radiation. Please remember this is exactly the wavelength of light that is used for photosynthesis. Now look at the given image and answer the question. The mechanical advantage of this pulley, considering there is no loss of energy, will be dash. A. 2. B. 1. C. 1.5. D 1.75. So the mechanical advantage of this pulley will be how much? And the correct answer is 2. Coming to the next, a uniform meter rule of mass 250 grams is balanced on a fulcrum at the 60 centimeter mark by suspending an unknown mass m at 80 centimeter mark. The value of m is dash. A, 125 grams, B, 150 grams, C, 100 grams, D, 175 grams. See, how would you calculate the value of M? It is F1 into D1 is equal to F2 into D2. So, 250 into 10 is equal to M into 20. So, M is equal to, that is, mass is equal to 125 grams. 
the direction in which the ruler moves when the mask M is moved to 90 centimeter mark on the rule is dash A anti clockwise B clockwise C does not move D first clockwise and then anti clockwise and the correct answer for this question will be clockwise. So the direction in which the ruler moves when the mass M is moved to 90 centimeter mark on the ruler is clockwise. State the energy changes in a thermocouple in use. A. Heat energy to the electrical energy. B. Light energy to chemical energy. C. Solar energy to heat energy. D. Chemical energy to light energy. Yes, Swasti Singh, Kavya J, Mayankra, Jatinder Singh. Aap sab log achhe answers de rahe ho bacha. I'm just not taking the names to save on the time. Okay, so the energy changes in a thermocouple in use is heat energy to electrical energy. Next question. If the velocity of a body is reduced to half, its initial velocity, its kinetic energy is equal to dash. A. Decreases to one eighth its initial value. B. Decreases to half its initial value. C. Decreases to one fourth its initial value. D. Does not change. Kinetic energy is calculated as half mv square. So keep this in mind. So V square kinetic energy will be what? Ke upon 4. So it decreases to 1 fourth of its initial value. Coming to the next. An object is placed at a distance of 10 centimeters in front of a concave lens of focal length 10 centimeter. The position of the image formed is dash. A. At a distance of 5 cm in front of the lens. B. At a distance of 5 cm behind the lens. C. At a distance of 10 cm in front of the lens. D. At a distance of 10 cm behind the lens. And the correct answer for this question is A. So, the position of the image formed will be at a distance of 5 cm in front of the lens. Remember, 1 by F is equal to 1 by V min minus 1 upon U. So, 1 by 10 is equal to 1 by V minus 1 upon minus 10 volts. That is 5 minus 5 cm. Coming to the next. The nature and size of the image formed is dash. A. Virtual and same size as object. B. Real, same size as object. C. Virtual, half the size of the object. D. Real, half the size of the object. Remember, M is equal to V by U. So, it's minus Y upon minus 10. So, it's plus 0.5. And a positive sign indicates it's a virtual image. So the answer to this question will be virtual half the size of the object. Large number of thin stripes of black paint are made on the surface of a con convex lens of focal length 20 cm to catch the image of a white horse. The image will be dash A. A horse of less brightness. B. A zebra of black stripes. C. A horse of black stripes. D. A zebra of less brightness. The horse of less brightness will be seen as an image. Coming to the next, where is the center of gravity of a hollow core? A. At a height h by 4 from the base on the axis. 
B at the height h by 2 from the base on the axis. C at the height h by 3 from the base on the axis. D at the center of the base of the cone. And the correct answer of this question will be at the height h by 3 from the base on the axis is the center of gravity of a hollow core. Question number 9. A body of mass 20 kg is initially at a height of 3 meters above the ground. It is lifted to a height of 2 meters from that position. Its increase in potential energy is dash. A. 392 joules, B, 100 joules, C, 60 joules, D, minus 100 joules. Remember, potential energy, how will you calculate it? It's 20 into 9.8 into brackets by minus 3. So, it's 20 into 9.8 into 2. So, that comes to 392 joules. Coming to the next, oh, it's over. So, friends, we have completed the second paper solving session. Okay, hope this helps you. Wish you all the very best and stay connected because we will be doing the reading as well as the paper solving sessions even in chemistry, even in Marathi and biology. Okay, so stay connected. Wish you all the best. Go confidently. You are prepared. Don't worry. Solve everything fully and calmly. Okay.